contest steeped in tradition since the first game was played back in 1976, the year after Voorhees first opened its doors. The two rivals always go head to head in the last game of the season and fight for the coveted milk can trophy. gold with North Hunterdon District football champs lettered just below the lid. The milk can was originally the brainchild of Hunterdon County Democrat sports columnist Lowell Snare, along with then North Hunterdon Superintendent Clifford Singley. Each year, the score of that game is painted onto the side of the can to become a part of the game's history. The concept of the milk can symbolizes and honors the farming tradition of Hunterdon County. At the conclusion of each game, the trophy is given to the annual winner to proudly display until the next bout where it again goes back up for grabs. The game record has been lopsided, with the Lions maintaining an all-time record of 32-12-1. But for the Hunterdon County community and the kids who get a chance to play, it means a whole lot more than just a game. It's part of a tradition that's bigger than any player or any one team. Regardless of either team's records for their respective seasons, the Mel Can game represents a championship in of itself, with a year's worth of bragging rights firmly on the line. And here on Degnan Field at Borges High School, anything can happen on this Friday night. Welcome to the 46th meeting of the Varsity Football Voorhees Vikings and the North Hunterdon Lions. This is the Milk Can Game. 